Okay, just a, another slide here about toolbox updates. This is kind of the everything else that I didn't have time to go into great detail, but I thought I should mention. So state flow used to be in Simulink only, and it was a tool for managing state. Uh, a lot of times it goes with doing controls design, but it has a lot of utility outside of Simulink. And so we brought it uh, in the capability into MATLAB. It's called uh, state flow charts. Um, where you can use it. One of the main places you might think about using it would be an app designer where you're waiting for the, the state of something to change. Um, but also a lot of places in terms of data acquisition or even control toolbox where this might be uh, really interesting. So this is a brand new thing in 2019A and something that uh, I think is a pretty cool evolution of you know, sharing between the MATLAB and Simulink uh, platforms as well. What about machine learning? So the idea of teaching computers to, to, to make decisions or algorithms with the data we give them. So specifically in the statistics and machine learning toolbox, there's two toolbox or two apps you should be aware of. The first one is called the regression learner app. And the next one is the classification learner app. Now the regression learner app allows you to do regression problems. And conversely, the classification learner app enables you to do classification problems. And the real power of these apps is they allow you to try all of our algorithms. So if you're working on a classification problem, and you want to try 10 or 15 different algorithms at once, you can do that with this app. So it allows you to cover a huge design space, uh, even in parallel. If you have parallel computing toolbox, you can train these things in parallel and then see which one gives you the best um, answer. And that's critical because in, in machine learning, we oftentimes don't know beforehand which algorithm is going to do the best. So we have to try a lot. And these apps really enable that, that workflow. Text Analytics Toolbox came out a couple of releases ago, allows you to do some, some really cool things with text, um, specifically extract data from PDF and Word files, and then apply machine learning algorithms to that data. So if you have text as data, uh, this can be a really powerful tool in your toolbox. And what about deep learning? So recently we renamed the Neural Network Toolbox the Deep Learning Toolbox. And that toolbox has become extremely feature rich in terms of dealing with um, f uh, models from other frameworks. I'll talk about that in a second. Designing and building your own models and using NVIDIA GPUs to train those models. So really, really um, exciting space. This, this uh, toolbox has undergone a tremendous transformation in terms of capabilities. So what about operating with other um, frameworks? So specifically, there's a couple of importers from uh, TensorFlow and CAFE, where you can bring those models directly into MATLAB. And if, you, if you're not working in one of those frameworks, but you can save your model as an Onyx format, um, you can work with uh, that model in MATLAB. You can also save MATLAB models as Onyx format. So there's a huge amount of interoperability in terms of these different frameworks. Um, we also have support for many of the latest and greatest pre-trained networks. So I've shown a few here on the bottom right. And those continue to, to grow, you know, throughout every release, we're adding the ability. These would be, uh, you'd get these via the add-on explorer. These wouldn't be shipped in, in MATLAB. You'd have to download them. But you can do that from our website very easily. In terms of exploring models, there's a few really powerful apps in the deep, uh, deep Learning Toolbox, specifically the Deep Network Designer app, which allows you to actually see what the network looks like. And then if you do work where you're actually modifying networks for whatever reason, uh, you can use the network analyzer, which will make sure that the layers you've put together are compatible, that there's no inconsistencies. In terms of labeling data, that's everybody's favorite thing. Uh, not really. Um, that can be a very painful part of any workflow. We have three different apps to help you do that. Image, video, and audio labeler. So depending on the nature of your data, we have apps to help speed up and automate a lot of the labeling that is required for deep learning. Now, to be clear, these... Um, Labeling apps are not completely automatic. You do need a person in the loop, but they can greatly uh, enhance the amount of time, or I guess reduce the amount of time it takes to do this work itself. Brand new toolbox in 2019A called the Reinforcement Learning Toolbox. And this might be uh, interesting specifically to our colleagues doing controls work. Um, but this toolbox is really built around the idea that trying to leverage deep learning and uh, design these policies or algorithms to, to teach machines how to how to do things. In this particular case, we have a robot walking in a straight line. Um, so we have some great examples in these toolbox to help you get started. It's a brand new thing in terms of uh, this toolbox itself, but is something that's important in a very up and coming area. So in terms of deploying deep learning models, you can take your deep learning network and run it through one of our coder products to generate code for target hardware. 
That could be things like uh, Intel chips that support the MKL DNN library. That could be actual CUDA code for NVIDIA GPUs or even the ARM compute library. So once you've trained, built and trained your deep learning model, you can actually deploy that out into the world and use it uh, going forward. So we have a lot of uh, capability in this area. Why is that important? Well, specifically, GPU code is important because the time for prediction or inference it can be really, really fast. Compared to other uh, leading frameworks, the code generated by MATLAB, uh, but GPU coder, is best in class. And really, this is a function of the fact that we've been doing code gen for many years, and we've leveraged what we learn on the C code side of things for the, the CUDA code as well. Predictive maintenance is a very um, important area in manufacturing and uh, in operations and there's a new toolbox to support that area called the predictive maintenance toolbox and this deals with two main things first of all dealing with condition condition monitoring so is my machine or my sensor in a good state or not if it's not then i start to care about this thing called remaining useful life that is how, you know how much longer do i have before failure is going to occur and that's really what this toolbox is designed around addressing and, and helping you to deal with and it's got some very uh, powerful uh, techniques uh, to uh, deal with large data sets and apply this predictive analytic type work to that data. One of the newer things in this toolbox, and just actually just in the 2019A release, includes the an app to help you do feature um, design or feature extraction. So how do you know what are the critical features in my system to pay attention to? And that's what this app is designed around. Signal Processing Toolbox and Wavelet Toolbox have come out with a couple of apps to help you do some, some cool things so on the Signal side. The Signal Analyzer app allows you to work with data in both time and frequency domains all in one place and in, in one UI. Um, can be very, very powerful when you're exploring or working with different data sets. And the Wavelet um, Toolbox will allow you to apply uh, denoising and, and also give you the ability to have this MATLAB automatic code generation like we talked about earlier. So these two toolboxes can be very powerful if you have uh, signals as data, you're doing signal processing work. On the automated driving side of things, this is again a very popular area with many customers. And so there's a toolbox designed to meet those needs. Um, this toolbox does a few main things. Um, it helps you understand sensor fusion. It does some combination of computer vision and, and deep learning work. Helps you generate scenarios, scenarios that maybe you either too dangerous to do on the road or you know implausible to do on the road and then of course ground truth labeling taking these data sets and and figuring out how do I apply labels to them so I can train models going forward this is a quick example of how you might use the, the automated driving system toolbox to understand sensor fusion so how are how is radar and video and uh, um, other sensors coming together both in terms of the object detection and then you can see on the left you actually have the the image or the video going on. So it helps you understand what the system's doing. We have support for the latest wireless standards. This is a huge area of development, especially with 5G coming out. And we've done a very, uh, try to be very diligent with staying up to date with this and supporting our customers working in this area. Um, so you can see a lot of activity in the last few releases here. And then uh, just one slide on all the other different toolboxes going on. So this, you know, MATLAB is a, is a platform that covers many different industries and, and areas of of computation and so this is just a high level list of uh, some of the newer things that we've been working on so we've been very active